In this video, we're going to explore the quotes and watch list quick links. If you want to quickly look up real-time market data, say a stock or a mutual fund price, quotes is where you should begin. However, if you want to save a list of quotes that you will be revisiting often, then watch lists will help serve that purpose. Let's start out by taking a quick look at how to use the quotes feature. By default, the quotes window that pops up is set to look up stock and ETF quotes. However, if you'd like to look up the price of other security types, say a mutual fund, an option contract, or even an index, just select it from the list on the left. To get a quote, start typing the company's name and WebBroker will begin to auto-suggest company names that closely match your entry. Or, if you know the ticker symbol, you can simply enter that to save some time. Please note that some individual stocks may be listed on both Canadian and U.S. exchanges. Canadian flag for Canadian exchanges and U.S. flag for American exchanges. Simply choose which stock exchange you want to receive the quote in. Let's select the Canadian market quote. The quote is added to a list below and reveals basic quote details like last price, change, current bid and ask. You can add up to 10 quotes on this list and choose whether or not you'd like WebBroker to remember the last 10 quotes used. You can easily delete an entry from your last 10 list by clicking on the X. If you're set on trading a stock, there are buy and sell buttons that take you to a page where you can finish entering your order. Fundamental data such as P-E ratio and dividend yield can be obtained by clicking on the Fundamentals tab. By clicking on the green arrow to the left of the quote, you'll be shown a more detailed overview, such as a chart that lets you toggle between day, 30-day, and 52-week ranges. Also, more fundamental data, such as ex-dividend date and P-E ratio can be found on the right. Included as well is an analyst rating consensus scale. If you require even more information, click these links. And if you're not quite ready to invest but want to keep an eye on the stock anyway, you can add it to a watch list from the Add to Watch List option. If you wish to build a list of quotes that can be recalled anytime, you may want to use the Watch List Quick Link instead. Watch lists allow you to build and save up to 10 lists of up to 10 securities in each list. To get started, click on the Watch List Quick Link. You'll notice that this page works a lot like the Quotes link. Select a type of security you want a quote on from the drop-down, use the search field to find the specific security, and add it to your list. By default, you will see the watch list displayed in Single List View. Single List View lets you see one watch list at a time. If you'd like to view three watch lists side by side, use the Multi List View. By default, your watch lists are numbered list 01 through list 10, but you can change their names by clicking here. If you'd like to remove a security from the list, click the X at the end of the quote for each security you want deleted. You can also use the watch list tool to create mock portfolios and track their performance. By clicking the tracker tab, you can add a quantity and average cost to create an artificial position and track their performance. Lastly, any updates that you make to the watch lists in WebBroker will carry over to the TD app and vice versa. That's an overview of the quotes and watch list links in WebBroker.